Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In today's video, we are going to see the career options that's available for you as a microbiologist. So we are going to talk very specifically about India. So today we are going to see the top 10 career options for microbiologists in India. I'm Dr. Vaishali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So the first, uh, so we're going to talk um, in terms of sectors, so different sectors that's available for a microbiologist. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about the environment sector or the ecology side of the sector. So one, the first, what are your roles as, uh, as an environment microbiologist, right? So first you will be studying the role of microbes in the environment. So it could be both beneficial as well as harmful uh, to the environment. So you will be involved in studying about these microbes. Second, you can be an ecologist as well. An ecologist in the sense you'll be studying about the abundance and about the distribution of, um, you know, organisms in the ecosystem. So such studies as well you can do if you are a microbiologist microbiologist right right uh, thirdly you can also be uh, you know involved in the sewage water treatment so you can be involved in the government or the private uh, facility as well next is water testing so testing the purity of the water the quality of the water so all of that uh, testing so you can be involved in the uh, NGOs or uh, the government facilities or even private facilities that work on water testing right so that is the next uh, role that you can play if you are into the environment sector if you want to be into the environment sector the last is about bioremediation so you can also be involved in bioremediation that is the use of biological agents like microorganisms for uh, you know reducing the pollution or uh, for uh, you know remediating the pollution that has already been caused so these are the different roles that you can play in the environment sector if you are a microbiologist right so that was the first uh, career option that i had for you the second sector that we'll be talking about today is agriculture so what are the different roles you can play in the field of agriculture if you're a microbiologist right so that's what we're going to see so first and foremost you can be involved in the soil testing because uh, if you're going to analyze the quality of the soil as a microbiologist what are the microorganisms that's um, a uh, that, that's there in the soil uh, so you can do that by soil testing not just the microorganisms but also what kind of nutrients are there what kind of minerals are there in that particular soil and whether it's fit for uh, a particular crop right so that is called soil testing so you can be involved in this soil testing secondly you can also be uh, a part of uh, research or the study which involves plant associated microbes so this this could be again both beneficial as well as harmful harmful in the sense that the microorganisms that can cause plant diseases or even the animal diseases the animal diseases which are involved in the plant uh, you know development so you can be involved in plant and animal diseases the microbes that are there secondly uh, even the beneficial microbes right for example uh, you can talk about cyanobacteria Bacteria, which is um, or nitrogen fixing bacteria so such beneficial uh, microorganisms for the plant so you can be involved in the study of those microorganisms as well the third is degradation and decomposition so we very well know that um, you know uh, microbes are important for uh, the decomposition to happen decomposition of organic matter and this decomposition is very important for the cycle for the nutrient cycle to go on right so yes the the role of uh, microorganisms in decomposition and agriculture is very important so you can be a part of this you can be uh, somebody who who will help in studying about the degradation and decomposition uh, side of agriculture agriculture the last role that i'll be talking about is biopesticides and biofertilizers so you can so even here uh, you know microbiologists play a very major role so if you want to be into the agriculture and you want to directly uh, be support to the farmers then yes you can be involved in biopesticides manufacture research and manufacture of biopesticides
metals and biofertilizers right so this is with respect to the sector agriculture the third sector that we'll be talking about today um, in India, that is if, you, if you're a microbiologist and if you want to work in India, what are the career options? The sector that we'll be talking about right now is food, right? So in food, you can be involved in all of these uh, steps of food. So you can be a food testing officer, right? Or food safety officer. So both of these, uh, they help in analyzing the microbes that has caused the spoilage of food right so yes you can do food testing food safety this is also a quality assurance or a quality analysis officer as well next is about preservation so in order to preserve the food as well uh, microorganisms can be added so you can be involved uh, so every food testing lab or every food industry needs a microbiologist so yes if you're a microbiologist looking to enter the food industry then you have a lot of options as well second is processing of food that that is uh, how microorganisms are used in processing of food such as say fermentation right or in brewery industries or in bread manufacturing right so all of these process as well uh, microorganisms are used for processing these food right so you can be uh, involved in these process as well lastly the storage of the food in what form can you store the food uh, so that it so it's uh, so preservation is also a form of storage of food right so all of these are the different roles that you can play if you're a microbiologist and you're looking to enter the food industry in India right so this is the third sector the fourth sector that we'll be talking about is the pharmaceutical sector so pharmaceutical uh, sector in India especially we know is very huge so we'll be talking about that so if you are into pharmaceutical industry as a microbiologist you will be involved in the development scale up as well as the manufacture of drugs right so you will be involved in uh, in coming up with new and better medicines as well as improving the eff effectiveness and the safety of the existing medicines right so this will be your role that you'll be playing uh, you'll be playing and apart from these you can also be involved in the quality control or the quality analysis of the procedures or the processes that is being followed in the industry because these industries they make sure that from each batch of their manufacturing drugs that's coming out, they take a sample of it and they do quality analysis. So uh, where they see uh, the safety of the drug and whether the drug is of good quality or not. So all of this uh, is done by a quality analyst officer. So a microbiologist is in very much demand in these, uh, you know, these departments in a pharmaceutical industry. So if you want to get into this uh, pharmaceutical industry, you can also be a QA analyst, right? So that is, uh, so these are the roles, different roles that you can play in the pharmaceutical industry as a microbiologist, right? After the fourth sector, the fifth sector that we are going to uh, see is the pathology. Now, what do we mean by pathology? Pathology is nothing but uh, the, you know, study of microorganisms that is involved in, uh, th that is the causative agent for a particular disease. Now, how uh, can you as a microbiologist be a pathology uh, can enter the pathology or be a pathologist right so you can uh, help in diagnosing and treating the diseases secondly evaluate the effectiveness of the treatment that has been given to the patient thirdly you can also be involved in transfusion science that is you can be reading uh, or you can be evaluating the donor and the recipient uh, compatibility right so such uh, research or stu such studies also you can do in transfusion science uh, next is histopathology where you will be uh, examining the tissues of um, you know of, of a person right who has been affected by a disease so yes histopathology is one then last is the molecular pathology which uh, which involves more of genetic side of pathology right so these are the different uh, ways or the different roles that you'll be playing as a pathologist uh, with a microbiology background right so this is uh, with respect to the fifth sector the sixth sector that i have for all of you 
is the marine. That's the marine microbiologist. Now, as a marine microbiologist, what will you be uh, doing or what is your role? So, first and foremost is you can be involved in companies that uh, basically helps in remediating the pollution that is that has happened in the marine, that is in the oceans, right? So, the ocean pollution, uh, you can be, um, um, as a microbiologist, you can be involved in eradicating this marine pollution and secondly, the oil spills. So, these oil spills, if it happens in the middle of the ocean or even in the coast, right? So, um, one way to uh, solve this particular problem is by using microorganisms for bioremediating these oil spills. So, yes, you can be involved in marine pollution and oil spills. Uh, it could be in the government sector or it could be in the private uh, or NGOs as well, right? Third, uh, the third role that you can play is the microbes of ocean that is uh, there are various microorganisms that's present in the ocean and these can be both beneficial or harmful as well so you can as a microbiologist you can study these microorganisms that's available in the ocean and you can and you can research about them as well the last is the marine food and byproducts so you can be involved in industries that process the marine food right uh, marine food and byproducts such as say drugs drugs that comes out of uh, marine Anim, uh, marine animals or plants say for example like omega-3 fatty acids that comes from fishes so you can be involved in industries that process these marine food and byproducts right so this is uh, with respect to you uh, being uh, having a microbiology background and you want to enter the marine industry that was the sixth sector. The seventh sector that I wanted to talk to you about is the petroleum sector. Now, how as a microbiologist can you help in the petroleum sector? So, first is to study the underground oil reserves, right? So, for this and to read the microbial flora present there. So, for this... Uh, these petroleum industries they need a microbiologist so you can be involved in this that is studying the micro uh, microbial flora that is present in the underground oil reserves secondly the recovery of the crude oil so you can be involved in recovery of crude oil and one more is also about biofuel so if you are uh, a microbiologist and you want to enter the petroleum there's one uh, one role that you can uh, enter one sector that you can enter into is also biofuels so where you use microorganisms for the production of ethanol right so that is another uh, you know role that you can play as a microbiologist so this is with respect to petroleum and biofuel sector or the energy sector we can call it the next is the eighth um, eighth sector that is the scientific writing now these all uh, the, the above uh, points that I discussed, they can all be the core uh, areas that you can work with. The next area, if uh, the non-core area is scientific writing. So if you are interested in writing or you're very good at writing uh, and you're a microbiologist, you can enter the scientific writing part of it, scientific writing or even publish uh, publishing writing, right? So what it does is it basically helps in communicating the scientific information to the public. So it could be public or it could be uh, your peers or fellow scientists as well. So scientific writing, uh, basically, it can be in the form of a journal or paper, that's a research paper, it can be a poster, article, research proposal. So all of these come under scientific writing. And today there are a lot of companies that is venturing into scientific writing and uh, editing as well. So yes, you can uh, try your luck there if you are interested in writing and you are a microbiologist or any uh, uh, you know life science sector for that matter yeah so that was the eighth uh, sector that I wanted to discuss the ninth sector is of course the education sector that is if you do not want to enter the industry but you want to enter the education sector you want to do research and teaching right if you want to do both research and teaching then yes you can enter the education sector so here you can be a PhD student or a researcher you can be a postdoctoral research associate you can be a research research associate or a fellow or you can be a higher education lecturer or an assistant professor or a professor right so these are the different roles that you can play uh, as far as the responsibilities that is concerned uh, if you are into education so it will be majorly about research right 
so you need to do that uh, research and you need to also publish uh, papers or books or whatever the university is uh, mandating you to and you will also be given the teaching uh, site as well so you will have to teach the students as well as do research and publish papers right so that will be your role uh, into the education sector that is into university or the colleges also you can enter so that is the ninth point that i had for you so the 10th point is if you have any more sectors or any more, uh, you know, career options that I've missed out in here, please let us know in the comment section below. We are very happy to listen to you and know your insights as well. Let's have a discussion there. So do let us know in the comment section below. I'm sure this uh, video was super helpful. We have talked about a lot of career options that's available, uh, not just career options, but also the sectors and different career options in those sectors as well. So we had uh, discussed more than 10 career options uh, if I have to say so I'm sure this was super helpful and uh, thank you so much and see you all until next video